M0 FXB Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. FXB, so we're going to get a D, a D star memory into our radio not using DR mode. So, first thing is we've got it on single receive because I think that's easier. So, to do that, just look if you're on dual band, there's dual band, and you just want single receive, just select, just hold your finger on one of them, the one you're going to use really. So, we're going to use the right hand side here. Yeah, that's a bit easier. We're in single receive. So let's get our frequency in there. So tap the frequency. And then type in the frequency. My hotspot is 433550. Click enter. Next thing we've got to do is we need to add a duplex because you need that. Otherwise, DR mode won't work. So tap here where it says F1 until you see duplex on F3. Duplex. And select, I always do minus, but it's plus or minus, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then tap that. Now the shift needs to be zero. So to get zero, just go menu. And then you can scroll around with the but with the volume button, or channel change button, should I say. Turn it to duplex, tap it, and then at the top, you'll have an offset like 7.6 or something. Just tap it and just put in all the noughts. You know, you're only doing this for your hotspot, simplex hotspot. If you were going to be accessing a repeater, you would just put in all your repeater frequencies as normal for D star. So click enter and you can back out of that. So we've got zero offset, we've got minus, we've got the frequency, and we need to select DV. So at the top here, just tap, select DV just here. So we've got everything in there that we need. Now the other thing you definitely need to have it in the radio if you're going to use a D-star repeater is your call sign. So what I would do is go menu, scroll to station using the channel change knob, click my station and I've already got it in there but it says my call sign so hold your finger on that button. Like so, edit, and then type in your call sign, M0FXB, and I'll keep going, oops, I'll put it in from scratch, right, so go M, A41. turn it down, 0, FXB, keep going with the spaces, and then tap that last bit where I've put five, I put 5100 for icon 5100. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the eighth space as a line, then it's 5100. Click enter. So you've got your call sign in there. You can back out of that. Right. The next thing you're going to need to do is get the CS settings correct. I'll show you what that means. So go menu. No, keep tapping it until it says CS. CS here along the bottom. Tap that. Now it needs to say this, your call sign with spaces and a B if you've only got one hotspot. And same again with a G if, um, same again. Now if it was a repeater, it would be slightly different, but I'm doing this more for my hotspot and the frequency I've put in is my hotspot. Now if you need to change these, um, you can scroll down to them, you can hold your finger on them and you can edit. And look, M0 FXB, space, 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 B. So what you do, I'll go across. And once you get to the B, then put, keep pushing space. And it's the last space is where you put the B. The G, I think, if I remember right, it automatically puts the G in there for you. But if not, same again. Go across. And just keep going as far as you can and then put the G, enter. Now, if these are blank when you push CS, it means you're probably not, there's two reasons. You're probably not in DV mode here. So make sure that says DV or you haven't set a zero, a shift. And without a shift, when you push CS, these will be blank. So that's it. So you've got the top section was already selected CQ. I think you can change it, edit, but I don't think there's any need to. Um, so we've got repeater one, same as your hotspot, repeater two, and you'll see it on the Pi star, B and G, and then my call sign that we've already set, you can actually hold that. Oops, I've done that wrong, select it again, because you can actually select different call signs 
Um, and some of them could be, I know it sounds weird, but could be XLX reflectors and XRF, but that's a whole new tutorial. So we've got it in there. So when your hotspot's on, if you key the mic now, it's gonna beep back at you. So I just key the mic. See that? To show you that you are connected. So that's it. So now the next thing is let's get it in the memory. So go menu, no, keep tapping it until it says MW. Now you need to make sure there's space in the memory. And just hold your finger at that. We're not doing it with banks here. We're just gonna put it into the main memory section. Hold your finger until it beeps twice. And it will tell you where it's put it. And it's put it on channel, or memory channel number 25. So if we go, if we hit VM, go to 20, I've been doing it a few times. So there's number 23, 24, 25. And that is now gonna show up on my hotspot when I transmit, and I'm gonna show you that. So we're at my P screen, PC screen. <laughs> uh, we've got the frequency here, and we're on reflector one, Charlie. And look, repeater one, M0 FXB with a B. Repeater two, M0 FXB space space with a G. I'll quickly show you the configuration. I might as well, put the username is PyStar, and the password is Raspberry, PyStar with a gap and a dash sign in and so if you're setting up a hotspot you need to these two will always be by default if it's simplex slide across d star i've got an oled screen so oled devity there's my frequency same as the memory channel my call sign it says pi star location and then the really important one is the radio modem here that you select this radio stm 32 DVM, MM DVM, HS Raspberry Pi Hat GPIO. That's really important or it definitely won't work. Uh, the rest is by default. When you apply the changes, when you put in your call sign and apply changes here, you click apply and it takes a minute to reboot. Then it will give you the option to select, um, you know, which which um, reflector you want to it, it to boot up on. So mine's on reflector one, Charlie. You can change the C, change reflectors. And uh, I don't think we need remote password at the moment. And here it is again, repeater one, repeater two. Now, just a tip, if you've got more than one hotspot on the same radio, it won't allow you to input it on the memory because it won't allow um, a duplication of, 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 a, of a call sign. So just put in a different letter, put in something like K or something. Don't put L, I think that might be a problem, but put in a different letter and then it will allow you so back to dashboard, and we're just gonna key up. Remember, we're not using DR mode, we're just using a memory channel. We're gonna key up uh, what we've just done, and you watch it appear. I'll, I'll even uh, see if I can have a chat. M0 FXB, Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, calling for a contact. See if anyone comes back. Try for an audio report. M0 FXB calling for an audio report. M0 FXB. Usually get someone come back on that. No. No one coming back, but you can see it's on there. The BR is good. It's the QCQ. Someone keyed up there, but no joy. So uh, yeah, 7-3, all the best.